The Moto Morini XK650 is a really nice motorcycle. For less than 8,000 euros you can get a full-fledged adventure bike, which is also suitable for long tours for two. However, the driver has to settle for a somewhat meager 60 horsepower roll and Dietmark tried out what the XK feels like during an extensive tour of country roads. It is very chic and powerful, the Moto Morini. It looks modern, but not too playful. A total of four color and rim variants are available. We like the red version with the golden spoke wheels best, but it also costs 8,285 euros. Moto Morini motorcycles are designed and assembled in Travalzio, south of Milan. The parts are manufactured in China by the Zhongning Vehicle Group. This company has been the owner of Moto Morini since the end of 2018 and was previously known more for scooters and smaller motorcycles for the Asian market. With the purchase of Moto Morini, Zhongning Vehicle Group has committed to continue operating the plants in Italy. The seat test on the x is extremely positive. The wide and high-mounted handlebars fall into the driver's hands just as automatically as the handles fall into the hands of the front passenger. The seat is wide enough and pleasantly taut, so that the rear end does not pinch even on longer tours. You sit upright and comfortable, the knee angle is comfortable and the footrests are exactly where they should be. From a technical point of view, there are a few positive surprises with the x that you wouldn't expect because of the price here. First and foremost is the large and easy-to-read 7-inch TFT color display, which also has a wonderfully matte surface and therefore does not reflect. In addition to all kinds of information, the selected driving mode, of which there are two, is also displayed, right and off-road. In off-road mode, you can park the ABS at the rear, which should please enduro riders. There is also an onboard computer and a tire pressure monitor as standard really not bad. Moto Morini also goes all out with the light with the X-Cape, full LED is the order of the day, both for the headlights and the turn signals and the daytime running lights. Very good, there is a separate switch for switching between this daytime running light and the low beam. We were a bit surprised that the x has to do without traction control. That's not a big deal, but it's still strange because of the otherwise good equipment. On the other hand, the operation of the x is nice and simple, you can forget the manual, you can get along with the machine more or less immediately. By the way, Moto Morini has promised that the x will be equipped with an integrated navigation function in the display via app at a later date via an update. You can already pair your smartphone via Bluetooth, including functions for making calls and listening to music. The x sounds quite good for our taste, but the test bike was also equipped with a silencer from SC Project. How the stock exhaust sounds, we cannot say. Enough looking, listening and fiddling around in the cockpit, now it's finally time to hit the road. What is immediately noticeable on the first few meters, the x lies firmly and securely on the road and goes very precisely around corners. We didn't expect that and it actually feels more like a 21-inch front wheel than a 19-inch one. The handling is good-natured and, in combination with the comfortable seat ergonomics, the result is an extremely relaxed glide. Okay, there are noticeable vibrations almost over the entire rev range, but these didn't bother us, we just noticed them. The engine produces 60 horsepower and has a torque of exactly 56 newton meters. That doesn't sound like much, and it doesn't feel like much. The x accelerates rather leisurely and overtaking maneuvers should also be carefully considered, depending on the load. 
This may sound as if the machine does not convey any driving pleasure, but it certainly does, but not through sheer performance, but through its good-natured handling. You feel safe on the X-Cape and the clear power output also makes it a real tip for travel enduro riders. What else did we notice? The six-speed gearbox is a little choppy, at least cold, but it gets a little better when warmed up. The Marzaki front fork is fully adjustable and works great. At the rear there is a central shock absorber from Kayaba, here you can adjust the spring base and the rebound. The brakes come from Brembo and are not very noticeable. At the front, there is a double disc with a diameter of 298mm and two piston floating calipers. This is also available on the 255 windshield at the rear and a Bosch 2-channel ABS system is also on board. The X-Cape doesn't set any new braking records, but it brakes well and predictably. At the front there is a two-way USB socket for mobile phones and the like and the switches on this motorcycle are backlit. The windshield is adjustable, but it creaks and rattles a little if you don't turn the adjustment knob all the time. Accessories such as cases, top cases, crash bars, handguards, etc. are also available at Moto Morini, so that everyone can put together their dream motorcycle according to their taste. The Moto Morini x 650 is a good adventure bike for little money. There is still room for improvement and updating, but we didn't notice any really bad things. The machine drives great and impresses with a very well-balanced road holding and a comfortable seating position. Only the somewhat limited performance spoils the impression a bit, but of course only if you demand it from an adventure bike at all. Zwei, eins, los geht's. Na komm, Baby. Alright. Okay. So, nochmal, drei, zwei, eins. Und ab geht das Füchslein. Ja. Ach komm, geht doch. 